Welcome to Good Day Dixie. I'm your host, Erin Allred, and I have a special treat in studio with me today. And I actually had to beg him to come out from behind the microphone to step in front of the camera because I'm here with DJ Lux, who's agreed to be my guest host today on the show. And normally he isn't in front of the camera. You're talking on a mic behind the scenes because you're a DJ, right? Absolutely. Usually I'm well hidden in a DJ booth, so. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I, it took me some convincing to get you to come on the show. And I mm -hmm. knew you would do a great job, so I've, I've been begging him for weeks. So I have to welcome DJ Lex. And first of all, um, because he's a big radio DJ around here, I want him to tell me a little bit about your radio show and what you do on your show. Well, I do. Um, it's actually a late night show, but it's a party mix show on the weekend, Saturday nights from 9 to 1. That's on B92, and it's called Club X with DJ Lex, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much four hours of nonstop uh, party mix, remixes, that kind of thing. On Saturday night. Saturday night, So if you're yes. going out, you would probably be listening to your show. Yes. That's when I listen to it, when I'm going out to do something fun on Saturday night. But you don't just have that show. You have one of my favorite shows that I listen to online because I'm, I'm a product of the 80s. I, I hate to admit that, but I am. And you do a little show that kind of centers around the 80s. And I love it. But before you tell me about it, I have to get ready. I have to get, I brought some 80s stuff that I can wear while we talk about your 80s show. Here we go. And you brought me this. What's this? Yes. This is a digital Rubik's Cube. <gasps> Which I could never, ever, ever do one of those. Let's see if we can turn it on. I pulled the stickers off the Rubik's Cube mm -hmm. and then just reattached them so that the colors lined up. So I'm all 80s out right now, so I want you to tell me about your 80s show. <laughs> well, about, uh, let's see, about 10 years ago, I started recording, I have a big vinyl collection, you know, those 12-inch black discs that are made of plastic. Yes, I do know Kind of like big CDs, you <laughs> <Yeah>. know? <laughs> and um, I started recording those to hard drive, and then I turned it into an internet radio station. That was about 10 years ago, and now um, you can find it on iTunes, it's um, all over, and I do a couple 80s shows on... Uh, as a syndicated show on some other internet radio stations as well. But you don't just do 80 shows on the radio, you also are a DJ, and I've heard through the grapevine that you throw some pretty mean 80s style parties as well. I throw some very awesome <laughs> 80s style parties, yeah, yes. Awesome 80s. <laughs> um, I do, I, especially for a lot of the school reunions, um, since I can do video, I can mix video, so a lot of the uh, reunion parties are 80s video parties, so that's a lot of fun. So you show 80s music videos and play music, 80s music at the same time. Yes, yes. Actually, like my kind it's of very cool because the DVD players work just like turntables, so you can mix and scratch the 80s music videos. Well, and you're a really busy guy, but aside from your radio show and your DJ company, you also throw events. I, I mean, I'm friends with you on Facebook, which I love, because you send me these updates all the time about the cool things that are going on in St. George, and you've got some events that are, that are coming up, and some of them we're going to talk about on the Dixie Dozen as mm -hmm. well in just a little while, but um, you are constantly throwing events, and if people want to know about your events, where do they go? Uh, the best place is djlex.com, and that's always going to have the latest parties, and there are buttons on there to hook up with uh, hook up with me on MySpace and Facebook. And befriend him on Facebook because it will make your life so much easier if you're trying to figure out what is going on in St. George, because he'll just send you a little update, which I love. And I wore a side ponytail for all this 80s conversation as well. Oh, and I brought one of my 80s shirts. Ooh. I figured I had at least... We are ready right? to go. Look at that. <laughs> well, I have no idea how to turn that off. So I'm going to let you turn that off. And then we are going to go right into the Dixie Dozen. And you're going to help me with that because I roped you into guest hosting with me. All right. So let's start out with the Dixie Dozen. And the Dixie Dozen is something we do here on Good Day Dixie, which are the 12 things you need to know about Southern Utah. Everything that's going on, important events, um, important people, everything you need to know. 12 things, here we go, number one. Number one on the Dixie Dozen today is the Huntsman World Senior Games. Now this is huge, and I know your dad has competed in the Senior Games before. Yes, he, he, attempt, he attempted to compete. Mm -hmm. He actually never made it to one of the events because riding his bicycle on the way over there got into an accident. But he's okay. Was it his fault? Yes, he... <laughs> it, <laughs> the thing is, he, and he knows better, he was riding his bicycle, 
and he had something hanging from the handlebar, like a bag of something mm. that he picked up. And I think he turned the corner on Sunset and Bluff and flipped over you know, in the middle of the intersection. Well, Lex's so. dad did not make it to the Huntsman Senior Games, but if you want to make <laughs> it and volunteer, don't have stuff hanging off your handlebars, for one. But two, you can contact Jeff Harding. His number is 435-674-0550 if you want to volunteer, and they desperately need volunteers this year. So number one, volunteer. Number two, um, and this is yours specifically, yes, this is. and all of you high school and college students out there for that matter, are excited because school's just about out. And what are you doing for that? I am doing the whiteout party, end of school party. Let's see. Ooh, nice. See <laughs> I brought, yeah, I brought Props. graphics. I brought graphics. <laughs> um, this Saturday, 29th, at the Washington Community Center, it's, um, they call it a whiteout party because everyone kind of knows to wear white because it's black lights and so everyone glows. And that is for high school ages and Saturday, 29th. Well, I like to think that I could get into that if I wanted to, but I'm a little past high school age. But if you are high school age, check out this party. It's going to be really cool. And um, Lex will be DJing it. Wear white. <laughs> Number three on the Dixie Dozen. Vote for the best of Southern Utah. And um, you definitely need to vote because if you have a favorite anything. I looked at the list online um, and it was shocking to me the categories that they had on this list to vote for. Um, some of the things on the list of the best of Southern Utah that you can vote for, your favorite place for lunch. Do you have a favorite place for lunch? I would say Samurai 21, uh, 25 Main. Favorite places my for you? Yes. Well, you need to get on and vote. Yes, okay, I that was kind of a normal one. But how about this? Um, oh, best local radio personality. You know, I'm not sure if I, should, uh, <laughs> if I should answer that one. Yeah, well, we have a couple radio personalities on the show today, so maybe we better just, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want to cause any problems. <laughs> um, the best annual event, and you throw tons of events, but you also know about a lot of events, so you are the one that I want to really know what you think the best local annual event is. I'd say the St. George Marathon is probably the best annual event, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm involved with that just because I do the music at the starting line, and it's a big party at 4 o'clock in the morning, set up a huge sound system in the middle of the freezing mountains and bonfires, and it's just a big, big party. Well, and it's, the, the city is just packed with people through that event. You can't even get anywhere. So that is definitely at the top of my list 